Hi, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is a deck unboxing and exploration initial review of the Super Lun Lunaris Tarot. Um, I backed the Kickstarter. It arrived today, so I'm just going to have a little unboxing and have a little first look. So the first thing it came with is this cute little organzary bag with the stars and the moons over it with this key in it. Cute little vintage key. I really like that. And it's it's the hold. Um, it's a card holder, so you can hold one card. It'll stand a card up. I'll do that in a minute when we've got them out, because it's gonna, not going to hold the, this photo. But the photo uh, print that I have. There you go. Thank you. Signed on the back. Is the King of Cups. It is a little bent in transit, but and a little bit. That scratch on it but to be honest if it goes in a frame then doesn't matter and um it's come across the ocean so i kind of expect a little bit of imprint on things um especially something as bendy as a a photo but it's gorgeous i love that image of the king of cups it's quite a refreshing change actually to see quite a young person as the king of cups just goes to show people can have their shit together <laughs> um, at a younger age if they want to. Um, so yeah, this is the Super Lunaris Tarot. As you can see, it's got the plastic wrapping on. What I'll do is I'll take the plastic wrapping off because the lights are just shining all over that. So if I get rid of the plastic. So you have this gorgeous box. It's a flip open box. So that's the cover. With these gorgeous galaxy pinks and purpley tones. I love it. Super Lunaris Tarot on, printed on the side and then top and the other side's blank because that's where it opens and then we have Super Lunaris belonging to a higher world um, a luminous and expressive reworking of the Rider Waite Smith system with an energy and life force of its own designed for personal development transformation and empowerment for all has a magnetic closure not to, it doesn't suck it back in but it is strong enough to keep it closed you have to push it to actually get it open and it opens up and we'll see the book opening box and pop that there for a second and then we have oh, I just saw the gilding so you have the little booklet that comes with it which is fold out so you have the suit of wands there with keywords and descriptions and then the cups swords and then the pentacles and they are page, knight, queen and king court cards. Or face cards I read the other day because court sounds so formal. Uh, and then there's the details of the major arcana. And then it has some heartfelt gratitude and thanks. And the copyright obviously at the bottom there. So it's just a simple little leaflet that comes with it. But sometimes the simple little leaflet is amazing. Right, so we have the deck. As you can see it's got this rose, gold, copper boiling on the side absolutely stunning oh i kind of don't want to open it because it looks so beautiful all together smooth like that let's take this plastic cuff off that's holding it all together uh the back detail of the card there that gorgeous reversible design in the blues like the moon and oh sacred geometry on it uh, the cards are matte, so they may look a bit shiny because of the lights that are in here, but they are actually matte. So we have the Fool. It's funny, that looks like my little dog. <laughs> um, and we have the Magician. That's powerful. The High Priestess. The Empress. Beautiful. The Emperor. I love that. The Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, the Wheel, Justice, the Hanged One, Death. I love that even in the fire there's a bit of shielded growth i love that temperance 
beautiful image for temperance. Devil. Tower. Wow. Wow. Star. The moon. I like that there's clouds, kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Concealment. I love that. The sun. Judgment. Oh, I love that. Look at that face in there. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. And the world. Absolutely stunning. So then we go into the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. The Four of Wands. I love that. The Five. Six. Seven. I like that there's some element of control to that as well. That's kind of, because normally that's like defensive, but that's controlled. Then we have the Eight of Wands. The nine. Oh, the ten's just got stuck to the back of it. So the ten. The page. Stunning. I love the graffiti in the background as well. The knight of wands. The queen of wands. The king of wands. I love his tattoo. There's a salamander on his shoulder. And then we have the ace of cups. That is beautiful. That feels really otherworldly. It's beautiful. Two of cups. Oh my God. Looking at herself. Loving herself. That's beautiful. Three of cups. <coughs> Sorry. The four of cups. Oh. Oh. If I could look like her. Beautiful. Serene. Graceful. Five of cups. Oh, I like that the castle's in front rather than in the background. It's in the background of the picture, but rather than behind it. I love that. The Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. The Eight of Cups. The Nine. The Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Page of Cups. The Knight. The Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, then we have the Ace of Swords, it feels like a Greek god going, there's the power, the Two of Swords, oh, I love that, Three of Swords, that really is just... That's a powerful image. Three of Swords is my favourite card in the deck. And that sounds wrong, but it it really is. Um, the Four of Swords. The Five of Swords. Very Joan of Arc. Love it. Six of Swords. The Seven. Eight. The Nine. Wow. The Ten. That looks like the same outfit as one of the other cards. Uh, Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. The Queen. If I could have a midriff like that. And King of Swords. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Two of Pentacles. I like that. The Three of Pentacles. They're working together. The four, the five, six. That feels very much more like the haves handing out exactly what they want the have-nots to have rather than donating. Uh, seven of pentacles, I like that. The eight of pentacles. The nine, the ten, beautiful image, the page of pentacles, the knight, the queen of pentacles, wow, 
And the King of Pentacles. I like that. I think he might be my favourite king. Absolutely stunning. Um, the cardstock is um, this beautiful, it looks, well, I think it is, it's it's um, the plastic cardstock. It bends, it goes back, it bends, it goes back. Um, I think, I could be wrong, but it's the waterproof um, one. They slide beautifully over each other. They get so energetic because of their plasticky slipperiness. These aren't as slippy as some plastic ones I've got. Um, and that's kind of good because they slide over each other without flying off everywhere. They are beautiful. Um, as I said, they are smooth matte texture with this coppery rose gold foiling on the side, which complements beautifully. This art style is absolutely stunning. There's sort of like touches of impressionism amongst photography and that card is stunning. If there was ever a Two of Cups card that was not about having to find another person, that is it. Um, oh, she's so graceful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Diverse. There's power in the images. They all tell a story which is related, but in a beautiful new way. That's my favourite card, actually. Um, that and the Two of Cups. I've never seen... It's quite nice to not see just a heart pictured a heart pierced heart because that shows the pain flying to anything else going on it's grief you can't feel anything but that pain stunning absolutely stunning um i will put all the details down below as always for the social media links and the shop links that i of where it, it's for sale absolutely beautiful i'm so glad i backed this on the kickstarter absolutely absolutely Oh, this could be top 10. Definitely one of my top 10. That wheel. It's just so... Somewhere between oil paintings and photography. It is absolutely stunning. I don't normally go for photo photographic style cut decks. But this is just something else. That card. Oh, and the Emperor. That was just... Oh absolutely brilliant um so yeah that is the super lunaris tarot i will show you that card holder oh it doesn't want to hold it that's really not selling it is it um oh, it's that way around so you hold it that way around no it doesn't want to do it that way around either there you go Ta -da! it did hold it so it's just a card holder so you can have it on your altar or whatever your sacred space is your practice space as a focus card for each day um but yeah that's that'll hold that one card i like it and i like that it's it's coppery to go with the upper side of the deck it does clash a little with it being vintage style but it works with the artwork because that's vintage style with the new so yeah it's beautiful absolutely stunning can't wait to have a go at that one and um, that'll be on my card of the day soon because i'm running out of shots i've taken on those to do for the deck rotation but absolutely beautiful absolutely stunning oh so inclusive diverse i love that the lovers card didn't have two people absolutely in love or whatever it was just two hands and wisdom between them flowing oh it was just so many different layers of meanings and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and very much needed um so yeah let me know down below what you think thoughts feelings as always, I will try and get back to you. Um, and I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.